Brother lads, welcome back to the Kosi Arsenal podcast. My name is Kosi. Welcome back to a brand new video. This is latest Arsenal news and transfer news as well. Thomas Partey wants to stay at Arsenal beyond this summer. Now, Arsenal are going to listen to offers according to Josh Watch, but Thomas Partey has made it clear to the club that his priority is to stay at Arsenal this summer so what would you do with thomas party arsenal want to move him on the player for a second successive summer by the way he wants to stay at arsenal and he wants to continue being an arsenal player we're going to be diving into uh, that story we talk about Mikel Arteta's contract now according to Fabrizio romano talks are ongoing between Mikel Arteta um and arsenal there are also other journalists claiming that uh, talks are advanced between Mikel Arteta and arsenal for a new deal aaron ramsdale newcastle are saying they are going to pay 24 million euros for aaron ramsdale it is too expensive uh, the 30 million that arsenal are asking for it is an absolute absolute joke and of course we'll talk about that new exciting talent in france called desire due now you've heard of him obviously um across a, a few social media platforms and a few uh, media outlets as well desire due one of the very exciting wingers in france but i tell you we'll get to it we'll get to it i, I just don't want to get another winger like pepe uh, from the french league one i've looked at him he's a raw talent he's exciting but i don't think arsenal should be going for uh, such raw talent hit the like button subscribe to the channel as well i want to know your thoughts on the party situation i want to know your thoughts um on the ramsdale situation how much should arsenal uh you know be getting really from Aaron Ramsdale's, uh, Ramsdale's self because for me i was thinking in the region of 30 to 35 million uh but you know, clubs reporting that 30 million is too much for Aaron Ramsdale. It's an absolute joke. How much do they want to give us for one of the youngest goalkeepers um, in the Premier League, one of the best English goalkeepers in the Premier League right now? I I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely stunned by reports coming out that clubs don't want to pay 30 million for Aaron Ramsdale. I'm really not happy. But let's start off with um, the big story on Thomas Partey. Charles Watts has given us a massive update um, on Thomas Partey. And this could actually change or even impact uh, the way Arsenal, you know, go into the summer and uh, what our priorities are. So according to Charles Watts, Thomas Partey is willing to stay at Arsenal uh, this summer, beyond this summer. His priority is to keep his place in the Arsenal team and his priority is to stay with Arsenal. Now, he also says that Arsenal are willing to listen to offers. Arsenal will listen to offers uh, for Thomas Partey. Uh, this summer um, and, and that is not actually changing so of course Fabrizio was the first to report on this and he said um, it is a hundred percent sure he is a hundred percent sure that Arsenal will move Thomas Partey on and they will bring in a new midfielder so it's, it's a lot of information around this Partey uh, situation at least for the people who think that I don't like Thomas Partey um, you can give me some credit because I've reported to you that Partey is not going to uh, or doesn't want to, to leave although that is that doesn't mean that he's going to to stay so let's start off with um uh, the player versus the club i think there's a lot of respect between party and arsenal uh, i think Mikel loves him i think party loves Mikel arteta and the arsenal fan base as well we love thomas party very much i personally love party very much contrary to reports on this channel by the way um to, to popular beliefs on this channel that i hate thomas party i don't hate thomas party come on I think there's a lot of respect between the two parties that if Pate doesn't want to leave, Arsenal are definitely not going to force him out. I think his quality uh, and his loyalty as a player, I don't see Arsenal forcing him. I don't see Arsenal arguing a deal behind Thomas Pate's back. I don't think Arsenal would do what Barcelona were trying to do um, with Frankie de Jong, try to push him out, try to harass him into signing for another club that he actually doesn't want. So if Pate wants to stay, and his priority is to stay at Arsenal. I like I, I very much see this as a likely option where Pate stays. I see this summer as one of those transfer periods again, just like what happened last summer. Um, Mikel talked to Pate and Pate said, I want to stay. And Arsenal went out there in the market and signed two midfielders um, and Pate stayed. And, and and if he had you know kept his um of fitness this season he would have been such an integral part of the Arsenal team so next season I see Patek you know staying at Arsenal as well I don't see a world where Arsenal um you know push out this guy I don't see you know just look at them at him there in training just look at how composed he is just look at how you know how you know he feels at home he's uh you know happy I don't see Patek leaving if he doesn't want to leave I think this is one of those transfers where the player has to be on the same page as the club. Now, just what points out something very important. 
Partey, unlike other senior players and unlike other uh, you know players regarded untouchable at the club, has not received any offers or has not had any conversations with Arsenal in the last 12 months to extend his deal. And that is where many sources are actually digging from. And they're saying, because we have not had contract extension talks, because we have not seen him engage with the club in any way, shape or form, most probably he's going to be leaving. Most probably Arsenal um, are looking to move him on. What would I do in such a situation? Personally, that's what I would say. If he wants to stay... Arsenal have so many other areas where we've got to improve. The wings have got to be improved on for me this summer. The forward line that, um, I mean, the wings are part of the forward line, but a new striker is, um, is a necessity. And if Mikel Atta really feels he wants to get a left back and a new goalkeeper who is going to replace Anne Ramsdale, those are four signings that Arsenal could actually do. I think that the midfield we have right now is not going to exponentially improve whether you sign Jesus or you sign Prophet Muhammad, I don't think it massively improves. Like, l let's think about Rice and Odegaard. That is the core of this Arsenal midfield. So whoever comes in as a defensive midfielder, whoever comes in as box-to-box, -box, is literally going to add to whatever we have. I don't think he's going to massively change um, you know, this Arsenal midfield from what we know to something else or something we actually do not know. So think about this. I, I'm imagining if Arsenal bring in a player like, um, which, you know, maybe N'Golo Conte, one of the best defensive midfielders we have seen uh, in our generation, right? N'Golo Conte or Joshua Kimmich, um, you know, such caliber, or Frankie de Jong, right, in, in, in that, you know, um, midfield. There will be an improvement. But when you think about Pate versus Kimmich, Pate versus um, N'Golo Conte, on their best days, there is not a lot to separate them, right? So I'm not saying Pate should stay. I, I, we've talked about why Pate has to go, and I don't want to go back into that because it would be a regurgitation and it would make the uh, content a little bit boring. We know the reasons why he's got to go. We know why Arsenal think um, it's better to move him on. But if he doesn't want to go, do you actually force him out? No, you actually do not, right? So P Thomas Pate could stay. He might stay. And I'm going to say... We will have a conversation with Glenn uh, on the Cosi and Glenn podcast uh, coming out almost every day um, at exactly 9 p.m., right? And I'm going to say this. I think many Arsenal fans want him to stay. I think Mikel Atta wants him to stay, although he's earning big wages. And I think he's going to leave Arsenal as a free deal. Because, I mean, how much are they going to give us in party? Six million to ten million. You'd rather keep him for one year. He could even win you the Premier League. He's um, close to Lodry when he's fit. So you, you'd rather keep him, honestly. You'd rather keep him. If you don't get uh, the 30 million euro offers and the 20 million euro, euro offers. But if we get 20 million euros plus, we've got to sell. Because that is good business now. You sell him. You sell Lokonga. You sell Emil smith Pro if uh, they're good offers and Drumsdale. And you sign a new midfielder. That is good business. But talk to me in the comment box below uh, what you think about it. Now, uh, Peter Oruk has come out and said that uh, Mikel Arteta is in talks with Arsenal. Advanced talks, by the way, uh, to sign a new deal. I don't think it's advanced talks, but Mikel Arteta's contract runs down next summer. And I've said that if we don't win the Premier League, Arsenal should extend his deal by one year. Now, is it? it's either Arsenal are stalling or we are doing something quietly. I mean... If you have Mikel Arteta, one of the best young managers in the world, by the way, and there is all this chaos and frenzy going on, you know, in the, uh, you know, managerial world. You think about Enzo Mariska crossing over to Chelsea. Eric Ten Hag could be sucked. Bayern don't have a manager. Therefore, they're, you know, they're going for company. And, um, you know, Barcelona sucking their manager. You know, you would be uncomfortable. I thought Arsenal would actually be pressured into giving Mikel Arteta a new deal. But I'm happy with what the Cronkies have done here. You don't need to get pressured into giving Mikel Arteta a new deal. Actually, I would say Mikel Arteta needs to be given an ultimatum to win. He needs to be given an ultimatum. And that ultimatum should be next season. So what Arsenal should look at is if he gets to halfway, January, December, right? Uh, December this year. That will be halfway the season. If he gets to halfway the season and is still challenging 
with Man City and is still going toe to toe with Man City, which is one of the very difficult, uh, you know, parts of the job description when you're given uh, an Arsenal job, a Liverpool job, a Man United job, uh, or a Chelsea job right now. It's got to toe to toe with Manchester City. But if he's still going toe to toe with City, if he's still picking up those, g g you know, gigantic results against Tottenham away, against Man City at home, against Man City away, and, and he's still, you know, playing organized football, which I think, you know, it, it will be the case. You give him a new deal. But if Arsenal have a drop off, if you know, because we have gone toe to toe with Man City for two years, it is possible we get a, we see a likely drop off. We get a drop off where uh, maybe the players are not motivated enough. Maybe uh, you know the team is no longer as cohesive. Maybe we are not scoring you know set pieces. Maybe we have found out in the way we set up, right? If there is a drop off and Arsenal are finishing third, twenty points behind Man City or fifteen points behind Man City. Then you go on to get a serial winner for this project. Otherwise, we might see this project going to uh, to waste. But I think he stays again at Teta. I don't think he's going to be one of the people uh, with uh, we look at um, in terms of departures anytime soon. He arrived in the summer of 2020, uh, so he's been at Arsenal for four full seasons right now, right? Two seasons where he's competed um, for, uh, you know, for, 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 for the title. One season where he competed for the top four and failed with Tottenham. And one season where he, f where he finished eighth. That is actually not bad. And one FA Cup trophy. That is actually not bad. So if he can start winning, right? And this season and last season should have been seasons where Mikel Arteta, you know, could have won something. Last season, he could have won the Europa League, right? Focus on the Europa League. Uh, get you know get all these uh, sporting Lisbon's out of that competition and win the Europa League. This season you can't win the Champions League. Obviously, it's still very very uh, hectic and um, we don't have the experience. Go and win the FA Cup. That is what we should have done. That is what he should have done. Uh, he should he should be a more of um, a winning manager. But I think Mikel Arteta stays. There's no question about that. And I would really want him to stay as well. Now Ramsdale is one player I want us to talk about. Clubs are saying especially Newcastle, that 30 million for Aaron Ramsdale is too much. Are they whining me or is this a joke? Because I literally don't entertain jokes because I'm one of the worst people at cracking jokes. I don't even love jokes. I don't watch jokes. I don't listen to them. How is anyone telling me that Aaron Ramsdale is not worth 30 million? How? Why? A homegrown 25 year old goalkeeper the best goalkeeper in the league last season but one um you know he's played he's playing um you know in an Arsenal side that is the most improved side across europe maybe apart from Bale Verkusen. how is ramsdale not worth 30 million like what is the reason ramsdale's value has dropped i mean at times i could be a little bit myopic at times i could be a little bit deluded this is the time and these are the times where i'm deluded I was speaking to Glenn yesterday on his um, on his channel, and this is what I said. I think Ramsdale starts for 15 Premier League teams out of the 20 Premier League teams that played in the Premier League last season. He starts for 15 on them, and I'm going to I, I'm going to uh, I'm going to prove this to you, right? So, okay, he doesn't start for Arsenal because Mikel Arteta uh, has given us a reason that maybe the the, the player is no longer uh, good enough to start for um, you know a title challenger like Arsenal. He doesn't start for Man City over Edison. He doesn't start for uh for, for Liverpool, right? Over Allison. Okay, maybe he doesn't start for Aston Villa. Those are four clubs, right? He doesn't start for Aston Villa over Emi Martinez, because I I really read Emi Martinez. Now, apart from the top four, Tottenham, Vicario, Ramsdale starts. Chelsea, Petrovic and Sanchez, Ramsdale starts. Um, Newcastle, Dubravka, Ramsdale starts. Man United, Onana. There's a debate there, right? There's a debate there. But I would say with some of the inconsistent performances that we've seen from Ramsdale this season, uh, from Onana this season, I would give Ramsdale a much big chance uh, over Onana. But it would be a 50-50. West Ham, uh, Ariola and Fabianski. I would go with Am Ramsdale. Uh, Crystal Palace, Dean Anderson, I would go with Aaron Ramsdale. Uh, now, Brighton, they have two very good um, ball-playing goalkeepers in Van Bruggen and, um, and Jason Steele. But my problem is short-stopping. 
So I think Ramsdale, in terms of shot stopping, starts over any of those two. Bournemouth, Neto, he starts. Uh, Fulham, Ban Leno, Ramsdale starts. Wolverhampton Wanderers, Joseph Saar. Joseph Saar has dropped off massively. So Ramsdale starts. Pickford, um, uh, Everton, I, I think there Pickford starts. Brentford, um, who's the goalkeeper at Brentford? Oh my God, I'm, I, he's skipping my mind. He's skipping my mind. Um, uh, what's his name? What's his name? I, I, uh, is he called... Um, uh, I've just forgotten his name. I've really, really forgotten his name. But, but I don't treat him as a good goalkeeper, by the way. I really, really don't. And I think Brentford have considered so many goals, or maybe not so many, but some goals that I think the goalkeeper should be, uh, you know, keeping out, right? Uh, Nottingham Forest, they don't even have, a, a, you, know, a, you know, a dedicated choice, uh, number one choice, right? They're still in between goalkeepers. They have Matana times. Uh, I think Ramsdale starts there. Uh, Luton, now Luton, I, I did vote for Kaminsky as my uh, goalkeeper of the season. So I would say um, Kaminsky starts. Burnley, Burnley, who is there? Trafford and M Morich. I like Morich. I've got to say, I like Morich. So Morich starts. And then, you know, at Sheffield, obviously starts. So when you, when, when, you, when you look at all these clubs, you want to tell me that a goalkeeper who starts in almost all of the, you know, Premier League is not worth a mere 30 million. Mi million. Like, when it comes to Arsenal selling... The guy is not worth 30 million. But when it comes to Arsenal signing him from Sheffield, um, you know, from relegation, he is worth 30 million. Get a life. Arsenal interested in signing um, French international, Desire Douai at Rene. Uh, very raw talent, but one of those electric players. is more like a Jeremy Doku. We'll get time and we'll talk about him. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you right in the next one.